Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over the top 10 things I would like to see added to V Rising. The list of items I'm going to go over today aren't in any particular order, but they're just little fun things or quality of life features that I think really should be in the game, at least from my point of view. And keep in mind, this whole list is only my opinion. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna put on this list is perfect alignment with columns for certain decoration items. A really good example of this are the vampire lockboxes because currently you cannot place them in the very center of a column. You either have to put them slightly to the left or slightly to the right. This drives me absolutely insane, especially as someone who loves to decorate my castle. And a lot of times I'll try to avoid items that cannot be placed perfectly center of a column. Oddly enough, some items can be placed in the center of pillars. So to me, it's very confusing as to why you can't do that with the vampire lockboxes or some other items that I'm not going to go into here. Whereas with chairs, standing clocks and a few other things can. Uh, another good example of this are the tall, narrow storage containers, because you also cannot place those in the center of the column. This whole thing just drives me absolutely nuts when I see it, and it's something that I think just either needs to be corrected or adjusted in some way for certain items, but it just feels very inconsistent and it's really frustrating. The second thing I'd like to add to this list are flowers inside pots or vases. So for example, the garden planters that we have and the vases that we have, whenever you go to the build menu, it gives you an option of different shrubbery you can put in there. Something I think would be a great addition is if you were to put, for example, snow flowers as an option, and the only requirement being that you have the seed in your inventory. I can't really see a reason why they wouldn't allow you to put seeds in to the pots instead of just plant fibers. So whatever the reason is, or maybe they haven't necessarily considered this, I think this would be something that would definitely help out, especially because the current method of doing so is an exploitable glitch. It's not something that should be in the game in theory, but it's become a normal glitch now to the point where if 1.0 comes out and this is not a thing anymore, it's going to suck. So I think uh, just for the sake of everyone's sanity, functionality, and the happiness of castle decorators everywhere, I would really, really like to see this feature. Another feature I'd like to go over would be placing things on tables. A while back, I had someone comment something about placing items on tables, and I just thought it was brilliant. It's something I haven't really thought much of, but something that I feel really should exist. I think a really good example of this would be, let's say we have a dining room table. I think you should be able to put some kind of tablecloth on that table. If you can put certain types of items on the desk, that would be really cool. Something that I think might end up probably being the case if something like this were implemented is I feel that they would just create a situation where it's kind of modular in the same way that the garden furniture is. So for example, with the garden planters currently, it works the same way as I was describing with the vases. But imagine if you were able to do that with tables, but instead on a table, you could have anything from alchemy supplies to wine, or maybe you might just want to have a really fancy dining room table that's been pre-prepared and pre-set up for various purposes. I think these kinds of things would be really good, especially for our peers, because it gives a sense that the table is actually in use. So I feel like this would be a really, really nice addition to the game. The next thing I want to add to this list are more horse colors and customization options. Currently, there are only three colors of horses in the game. I think we all know that horses come in more than just three colors or variations. And I think it would be really cool to see different types of horses in the game with differing patterns or different colors and stuff like that. And I wish that we could also customize them more. So right now, the only customization for our horses we have is the saddle. I think that there should be a saddle that allows you to keep your horse looking the same, but maybe they have like glowy eyes or something. Um, so that way you can retain the color of the horse if you really preferred that color. So right now when you put on the vampire horse saddle it or the default saddle, it turns your horse into a vampire horse as far as like what it's looking like. Currently when you make a vampire horse, whatever saddle you put on there it kind of determines the look of the animal. So for example, um, we already know that there's going to be a skeleton horse coming up from the Legacy of Castlevania DLC cosmetic pack. I think that 
having that and the gloom rot one isn't enough and i think that it would be cool if you could customize your horse by interacting with the saddle so so far they've shown that in the game we're going to be able to change the colors of our outfits in 1.0 I would like to be able to change the color of our horses or change certain types of features of the horse uh, through default base options. I think another thing that kind of ties into this would be different hairstyles for horses. So for example, uh, some people like to braid their horse's hair. I just think there's a lot of potential for customization here. I'm not saying that we should be allowed to turn our horses like pink and purple and, and blue and all types of weird colors. What I'm saying though, is that it would be nice if you could choose from a variety of different options so that when you put the saddle on your horse, your horse can look just as you want. The next thing I want to go over on the list is a coat rack. I would love, love, love to see a coat rack put into the game as a place to basically put cosmetic gear that has basically no purpose. So for example, uh, currently the cosmetics for our headpieces are all random drops around the world of Vardoran. So for example, let's say I'm killing a bunch of villagers and I end up coming across a bonnet. I would love to have a place to put that bonnet that isn't like my normal storage inventory or gear area. For those of you who might have watched my reaction video to the Legacy of Castlevania DLC, you might have seen in this image something that looks kind of like a storage rack for weapons. This got me thinking, why can't we have a storage rack for headpieces? And that what's the perfect thing to use for a storage place for headpieces and other types of things like certain capes, for example, maybe a coat rack. Imagine you're able to put your cape on the coat rack. It's just something I thought would be a nice little quality of life feature and maybe something that's just visually appealing overall. I think it would give a lot of castles a lot more of a homey feel and kind of imply that people visit. The next thing on this list I'd like to go over are about servants. Actually, the next two things are. So for number six, something I would definitely like to see is more servant functionality. So for example, right now, all they do is just wander about the castle grounds and they don't really serve any purpose other than sending them out on missions. It would be cool if there was an incentive to keep them in the castle at some point, especially if you have resources naturally growing on your land. I think it would be really cool if servants could just collect rocks and plant fibers and, and woods and things like that on your property and i feel like it would add a nice little quality of life feature especially if those items are picked up by servants and put in their inventory so that when you next interact with them you can retrieve them later something else i think that kind of ties into this would be a stationary option i think it'd be cool if i were able to stage my servants so that they stand in one place without having to trap them behind a counter or trap them behind a door or some kind of room or something like that. A really good example of this is how in my current castle that I'm working on, the alley, I have an artist alley in that castle, but I have to trap all the servants in there in order for it to work. It would be really nice if I could just tell the servants to stand there and have the center of the room open and not worry about them wandering about. I think it would also be cool if you were able to pick up servants and move them somewhere else. There have been times before where I'm interacting with something, whether it be a crafting station or the castle heart, and a servant will walk right in my path and they'll be in my way and I can't quite click on the castle heart or I can't quite click on or interact with whatever it is. I think being able to move the servants and maybe plop them behind you or somewhere else would be really helpful and also help prevent collision in certain areas of your castle so they're not just walking in place. The only way to move them currently is by going back to their coffin and resummoning them, which is kind of a pain, especially if their coffin is really far from your current location. The next thing on this list, which kind of ties into the whole servant functionality thing as well, would be servant outfits and more customization. So let's say I catch a Gloomrot resident. 
maybe it's a villager i wish i had the option of turning my servants into butlers and maids i think if they're going to be servants they should look like servants ideally being able to dress them up give them some kind of uh, visual clarity as far as what their roles are within the castle and maybe even just being able to point certain things out and maybe even just creating a more realistic rp environment i think would be really really cool i think this next thing i'm going to go over is probably something that pretty much everyone can agree with and that would be a photo mode so a photo mode would be really really cool for this game currently the angle of the camera is limited i don't know if it's going to be like that come 1.0 I really hope not and I hope that we have a little bit more freedom of movement when it comes to the camera but as of right now we don't really have that and it's really hard to get a decent picture of your vampire or stand in front of something and have a really nice decent picture without having to do a lot of editing. Not having flexibility with the angles and stuff like that makes it a lot harder to share screenshots with your friends and also take really nice pictures of group events and things like that. I wish we had the ability to basically go into a photo mode so that we can at least take really decent pictures. The second to last thing I'd like to put on this list would be more swinging doors and openable windows. So right now we only have the wooden window hatches which allow us to open and close our windows but they're the only ones in the game that allow us to do that. We have two different variations of swinging doors currently as well so we have the prison gate and the barrier gate but we don't have a solid traditional looking door that we could just put inside our castle that won't look weird so i really hope that we get something like that in the future but uh, i guess we'll have to see last but not least i would like to see more types of prison cells so instead of prison cells i think we should have maybe some cages as well so that we can add things like animals in there so that we can drain their blood over time or mutants even because currently we cannot put a creature or a mutant in a cage so it really kind of leaves us wanting for more because it's not like we can bottle creature blood and it's not like we can bottle mutant blood and i think if we had that option that would be a really really nice quality of life feature and we already know that we're going to be getting a new blood type in the game. I'm not sure exactly what kind of blood type we're looking at, but I think it would be really cool if that new blood type was also something we could have in our castle. So what do you guys think? Do you think this list has a lot of good things in it? Do you agree with some of the things I listed? Do you disagree with some of the things I listed? What are your thoughts on some of the things maybe I haven't mentioned, but that you were thinking might be really cool additions to this game? I'm really curious to know. So yeah, make sure to let me know in the comments section. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I'm a Shiloh Eats Quintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I usually stream three times a week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and you can catch me live on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. I usually stream V Rising at least once a week, usually on Thursdays, so feel free to stop by and say hello if you're interested. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, Sholo out.